hello friends welcome to wavescript.info first of all thank you so much for watching my videos and liking and thank you so much for subscribing my youtube channel so here again i'm with a new project uh, you can see it's a inventory system and you can also compare this project with the admin panel and uh, of, uh, if you know my hunch store project so many of my viewers and uh, friends uh, told me about creating a, a admin panel for Khan store and they are always asking for admin panel of Khan store that's why i created this inventory system and they can relate this inventor in inventory system with the Khan store project so this is the back panel or you can, the, you can say the admin panel admin can log in here but this inventory system has extra features such as uh, uh, creating uh, orders, uh, making invoice, printing invoice, generating PDF files, saving PDF files in the server for future reference. So these are the important features added in inventory system. So here what we can do. So first of all, we need to register. Here is a register in the form. And uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to waste uh, uh, time because I have already registered here. So I'm going to direct login. So let me try with... Uh, uh, invalid email address uh, sorry it's my email uh, not my email address gmail dot com mail dot com say something like uh, 16 password uh, gonna anything whatever you want sorry it seems like you are not registered yes this email address is not registered right and enter so invalid password now this time login it's fine you are logged in now you are admin so welcome admin and you can see this is a clock api so don't worry about it you can get it free from internet but this is a problem of this api when you hover you will get time and day.com and uh, here is a username Rizwan Khan I'm admin the last login is this is the time and you can convert this time into other time such as your login five days ago and uh, what we can say here we have category like a uh, harness store we can add category we have a parent option so this feature is not in Khan store manage so we can manage our categories we have uh, extra um, this awesome feature pagination we can uh, divide our table into multiple pages we can delete we can uh, uh, we can delete and we can also edit so let me show you electro just for example so you can see the electro and category updated so electro but it's not true it's electronics electronics update category updated okay again mistake I forget in electro next update it now updated so we can delete also if you want you can delete it but uh, there is problem and i have also not mentioned foreign key for this so i don't want to delete it but if you will mention foreign key then it's easy for us and one important feature of this category is uh, it has a parent category where so this is a one table and uh, if you know about database concept uh, such as uh, relationship one to one relationship one to many relationship many to one relationship so uh, like that we have also a recursive relationship feature so this is one table you can see categories and in one table we have parent category category name and category status one so whenever we press this active button it will be red color and disable but i have not added this query this is a single line code and this will become zero so it can be either one or it can be zero and you can see the parent category so electronics is a root category we don't have anything above electronics electronics can be parent category and mobile phones will be the child category of electronics so parent category is one which is actually the electronics category id one that's why i'm telling it's a recursive relationship we have you here we i used uh, uh, left uh, outer join so if you you have to our about database concept and uh, okay let's see again uh, home here is a manage brand can manage brands we can, we can delete we can add brands so edit we can edit brands why update brand updated 
this is a problem it should have delete so we have to delete it we have deleted now we don't have any extra page other than this one and uh, we can manage products so in product we have category brand actually this is the combination of three tables or you can say the cartesian product sql query cartesian product so category brand is from two other tables we are combining three tables product category and brand and here the stocks the available products it can no it can never go in negative and here same active and here we can edit so i have not added form it is similar to brand and category so we can just copy we need to just copy and paste but we can delete if you want i'm gonna delete it we have deleted right and uh, here home and i will say something like uh, i'm gonna add a new product so it's a honor phone honor 9i 9i it's the name and uh, we don't have brand for honor 9i so i'm going to add a brand why brand brand added now i'm going to add on a 9i already written choose brand choose category it's a mobile phone and price price will be i think 29,000. quantity is uh, uh 10 this so new product added successfully close it so in this way we can add and manage the our products category and everything so now the heart of the heart of this inventory system is new order so here new order and this is the awesome beautiful layout invoice and we can add many products multiple products actually i get it get this idea from somewhere else and uh, you can remove so this let's uh uh, buy something so i'm going to buy for so let's first of all we need to prepare invoice so what is the name of customer customer name is uh, mm, very thick product he buy something galaxy and uh, quantity is if i will add uh, so i have two quantity available if i will give it three so simply i get sorry we don't have this much quantity of this product so i can add a one or i can add so i cannot add two I can add two no problem so i'm going to buy one right the automatically everything is changed here add and uh, for the cs i'm gonna give three piece okay fine one more and this time out of 6x 30,001 or not this one uh, let's say lenovo laptop mm, two it's 90,000 right so sub total discount uh give a discount of the face you can see the gst it's signed in tax newly comes in market and it is very high 29,000 for this one lakh sixty four thousand rupees someone will dead after this gst and uh, we are going to discount so he is giving twenty nine thousand gst so discount should be five thousand and paid amount is going to full payment five two zero and cash of course cash we don't have any option now i'm gonna press order but uh, remember in mind we have samsung galaxy two piece one quantity and uh, so quantity is uh, for samsung galaxy is uh, two and i'm going to buy one photoshop is two i'm going to buy three uh, eight and i'm going to buy three so it will reduce in our database two and two so let's buy one or maybe two or maybe one okay order now you can see the option of print invoice means the data is saved it is very fast and uh, okay we are ready to print invoice but before that let me show you here products the quantity for samsung galaxy is one because we have reduced one uh, because the total quantity was two and i have taken one that's why it is one the total quantity for photos of cs is eight and i have taken three 
so it should be five so here, here you can see it's it's five so it is fine and just print invoice okay our invoice is ready and you can print it three products and again um, I have I did one mistake zero so it's a loop so I have to increment it no worry about it and here you can see and here you can see what is this okay fine my pro and uh, PDF invoice so we have generated so much invoices so this is the last one is 28 20 is not 28 is nothing but invoice ID we can track that by using our ID 28 invoice ID and in database just go back and here home manage product and here Samsung Galaxy 1 Photoshop 5 everything is reduced by there by taking taking amount oh, okay it's fine now uh, let me show you the database so here is our invoice so this is the invoice and uh, 26 28 customer name Hrithik so this is the invoice number and the details of the payment but uh, how can we see the uh, pro individual products this, this is the total amount he has paid there is no individual product so this is the invoice number and this number is foreign key for this invoice details so here is the invoice number and 26 26 26 26 four item price and this is a product id 1543 so this id is available here in this products 154 whatever now in this way we can drag everything so i hope you like it and you can download it from github and i will uh, give this link in my description and also don't forget to like my webscript.info page thanks for watching thanks for watching so should i close right now we don't have uh i've done everything uh nothing left okay i'm using here uh, what we used in this uh, project i used php with the uh, object oriented programming concept mysqli database and uh, ajax fully ajax and here you can see the function uh, classes this is a manage which manage our invoices and uh, page provides uh, pagination functions so we can get uh, there is everything is class and method format so here includes db operation will perform adding of products deletion of products and everything so you can get it you can get the source code in github once again thanks